greetings to the viewers at home. My name is Pastor Gili Abetwi Likalakala. I come from Kempton Park, but our ministry is based in Rustenburg. I am so happy to be here today. Um, the reason for me to come to Charis Missionary Church is that uh, I have been experiencing a lot of challenges in my life where uh, the prophet, uh, when he prophesied, he indicated all the challenges that I have been experiencing. Number one, challenges of delay in my career, in my, in my business aspirations. Um, so those are the main challenges that had caused me to come to the Charis Missionary Church to receive the word from the men of God. And I thank God because I received my deliverance and I want to thank God for the deliverance and the testimony that I have received. In terms of my career, I have been in the same position for six years. No promotion, no nothing. And I have been receiving invitations for interviews. I have not received not even one job with all those interviews that I have attended. That is why I had to come to receive my deliverance because I know when I live here, my career life will never be the same. So I'm also experiencing delay in my studies where in 2020, I registered for a PhD, a doctorate degree at Vets University. It was very sad for me because last year after I went to present uh, my paper, my proposal, it was rejected by the panel. Sadly so, because I was the only one in our group who did not go through. That's how bad it was. Now, um, this year I also tried to register again. It never happened. I'm still waiting for the school to contact me. But I believe after today, ah, I'm going back to school. Side of business, uh, my husband and I, we always had ideas. We always had business ideas that we wanted to do. But now the challenge is every time when we want to start Nothing happens, something comes up and, you know, with all the plans that we are making, you'd find that we cannot start the businesses. It's been years, it's been years, but I thank God because it is over. When I went to see the prophet uh, today, he prophesied me about the issue of my job, of which I want to con confirm that it is true. He prophesied that nothing is happening in my job and uh, there's a spirit of delay in, in my job where I'm currently working. And I want to confirm because he prophesied what is, has been actually happening at work. And um, he also prophesied about business that uh, he can see in my heart that my heart is crying for business. I want to do business so much. And he spoke the word upon my life uh, and my business that he's praying that God will open doors and bless me with money to open those businesses that I uh, have been praying for. I want to confirm that it is true. I have always wanted to do business. And what he also said is that he's praying that when after God has blessed us with these businesses, now we can start uh, uh, focusing on the ministry because it's very much important that now we start to focus on the ministry. I confirm that. Number the third prophecy was about the sickness, my health. I had my feet, both of my legs, they, especially when I go to sleep at night, they would get very hot, like something, like I'm burning. So he's, he, 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 oh, he asked about my mother. Where's my mother? Because my mother has got the same problem. So this is this this challenge I got it from my mother, and uh, it's true. 
I want to confirm that my mother's got a problem of legs. There's a time where she would get like a minor stroke on her right foot. Uh, on her right leg. So I uh, that is a confirmation of the prophecy by the man of God. Um he also <clears throat> he also prophesied about uh, he actually spoke the word of blessing upon my life that in terms of finances we are not doing well there's so many debts so he's he's he's, he's, he's praying that god will give me money you know to get rid of those debts and i want to confirm with the debts they are there and i receive the word of blessing from the prophet of god when I had uh, a one-on-one -on -one with, with the prophet of God, he prophesied about the spirit that has been haunting me. And it's the spirit of the family, spirit of witchcraft. He prophesied and said, this spirit, it's not only upon me, everybody in my family. The spirit of witchcraft is following us. And he spoke the word of deliverance as well. And I received the word of deliverance that no more witchcraft in my family, in my life. Because the spirits, as he was prophesying, he was saying they would also come at night to attack me at night. Of which I confirm that they would come to attack me through dreams, uh, bad dreams that I would dream very, very bad things. But I thank God that I'm delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. I feel like a baby now because I was carrying a heavy load and he was saying, Prophet, when I was uh, having a one-on-one -on -one with him, he was saying that uh, he, he, like I'm carrying a very heavy burden. So I feel like a baby now. All those things, the pressure, I could feel so much pressure on my head that it's like I'm carrying something big, something very heavy. But now I'm very light. I'm like a, a small baby. I'm like a newborn baby and I want to thank God for that. I want to encourage people of God that they must trust they must trust in God. These are the same words that I received from the prophet, uh, man of God. He said, I must trust in God. All will be well. And I, I, I want to encourage people of God that, you know, God is not like man that he should lie. We must trust in his word. We must trust in his promises. We must trust every word that is spoken upon our lives. It, it shall come to pass. It is true. It is true and it shall be true upon our lives. Amen.